and I guess we'll get into theories now that I'm kind of thinking about theories. Yeah, is, just get into it. Yeah, is that maybe he was a little more dehydrated than he than letting on, and even though he had a lot of water with him, that he just wasn't drinking enough water. I mean, that is possible when you're hiking, um, especially at elevation. I don't always remember to drink water. You, you, for some reason, I don't always feel as thirsty. Or hungry. Or hungry, yeah. Both those things. Like, I, I, especially in high altitude, I always have to force myself to eat. Yeah. Otherwise, so, I'll do like 200 calories for the whole day and like you feel fine. Yeah. So maybe he was, um, he was a little more dehydrated than we thought and confusion was setting in, which caused him to get lost. Or perhaps when he went around, um, he went around the hill. Because they he, Ned did mention there was a lot of thick brush on the side of the the hill that they went around, and maybe he got turned around in there and walked the wrong direction, but you could see the hill, yeah. like just if go you're going to the, around, go it, to the peak, just yeah, maybe go back up it or just kind of you know shadow the base of the hill until you get to the other side. Yeah, and if he's an experienced hiker and he he sounds like a pretty intelligent guy, he worked at NASA as a computer programmer, you think he would you know, put that two and two together. Yeah. And he, and it's not like it was his first time out in the wilderness. No, he hiked this exact location before. He hiked the exact location. (laughs) They said he wasn't as experienced as the other two in the area, but yeah, if, if you've got the gear, you're a hiker in general. Yeah. You can kind of make good judgment calls. Yeah. Um, so some friends and family, um, like I mentioned earlier in the episode, uh, friends and family think that something, some type of serious injury happened. Otherwise, he would have known to make it towards water. Uh, they mentioned that he was not a suicidal person. No, none of his family suspected suicide or... I didn't want, even think about that, but okay. Yeah, or wanting to like disappear on his own. Like sure. The family actually mentioned that, and they said that's absolutely not plausible, and Based on everything I read about Floyd, it does not seem... Yeah, there's no indicators that that was a potential thing. Um, A lot of locals obviously blame the heat. Uh, One local that I... A statement I found from them said that the week Roberts went missing, heat-related incidents killed four other hikers in one day. So... I think that's extremely relevant. Yeah. So I think... Because that's rare that you're hearing like that many people lost... In one day. Yeah, especially in a day. Yeah. And, you know, that's a, that's a common theme with Grand Canyon. It's very, uh, it can get very hot and people, I think, underestimate how much water they need. So. See, but that, that to me is like, I would lean 90% towards that happening, but then where is he? And he had seven and a half liters of water with him. (laughs) Yeah, but it's a lot of water. Even then you can like, like I have like, you know, like there's some people that are more susceptible to like heat stroke. Yeah. It's like, I have a son that. Even when he's playing sports outside in summer, he'll be drinking water like crazy. He still gets really flush. Like he looks yeah. like he's going to have heat stroke and we make sure he drinks ahead of time. So like, okay, let's, let's pretend he's more susceptible to it and he succumbed to heat stroke. And then obviously it just deteriorates longer and longer. The more yeah. he's not getting help. Where is his stuff? Where's his body? Where is that? That that's kind of like the, what gets me is I think it's easily explained what could have happened to him. Yeah. Tripped and fell, had an injury where he couldn't move. And then succumb to the elements as a result. Yeah. Where's the body? Where's his gear? Yeah. Um, yeah. I a mean, week's he, worth of stuff is not small. No. And I mean, if he would have had a heat stroke and collapsed, you know, around that hill, they would have found him. Yeah. I mean, like even in the bush area. Yeah. It's not like there's a like, hey, this is where he was. I'm sure that area searched really heavily. Yeah. Because that was his last seen point that they're going to, they and probably they brought the dogs in. Yeah. That was probably where they did their most extensive searching was around that hill area, Kelly tank area. Yeah. And well, would, you just think of the dogs. They picked up the scent. There wasn't rain. There wasn't thing that would, uh, we talked no. to the guy, the searcher said they'll, sh- you know, you shed your skin. Yeah. And the only shed thing that will clothing. Well, you, well, your, your skin cells, all this stuff oh, like yeah, that, yeah. Like, before it gets a scent. And they said the only thing that will ruin that is major weather events or things or time. Yeah. And you're a dry, arid place where things get like mummified because they don't change that often. Yeah. Like how come the dogs couldn't pick up his scent? Yeah. There's not a lot of people traveling there. They're the only people in that area, arguably. Yeah. Like where did he go? Yeah. So, um, you know, some have said he may maybe fell or uh, climbed into a crevice to escape uh, the heat due to confusion. So that goes back to my point that maybe he was, he had more dehydration than he was letting on to. And then it just like hit him all at once when he separated and he got confused and started making poor decisions. Maybe he walked out of the search area. 
I I think that the first half of that is the most reasonable thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, th- that was one of the theories some people had was that he, he was confused be- due to heat exhaustion or dehydration, wandered out of the search area. And then other people said maybe he was crushed under a rock fall. But again, if you're a searcher and you see a fresh rock fall out in the woods yeah, and you're you looking might for a missing check it person, out. you're probably yeah. going to check that out. Yeah. So, um, you know, and finally there are mountain lions um, and he was hiking by himself. But again, if he'd been attacked by a mountain lion, you would see evidence of that on the ground, and dogs would cue in on I that right away. Absolutely. Yeah, so um, none of this really makes sense. People that, when I was doing research for this case, locals from that area were just like, not just, oh, yeah, it was heat. It was heat. Yeah. Like, but, I again, like, I understand the vastness of that area, but I feel like if he would have just collapsed from heat stroke – they would have found his gear or his body. Um, I mean, I, I'm leaning towards the most plausible theory in my head is that he got confused and wandered out of the search area and is still somewhere in the monument, and they just didn't find him because they only searched a 10-square-mile radius, and he was a pretty fit dude. He had a lot of water and food with him. He could have probably covered 10 miles in 24 hours before the search really started. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. So, uh, th- I mean, that's the only thing that really makes sense to me. Um, I don't know. What are you thinking? I don't think he left the search area. I was tuning into when you said he might have crawled in like a crevasse or something. To so escape the heat. Yeah, and I wonder if he fell in like a small cave or like and an aquifer or something. Still there. And, you know, or like if like fell, injured, yeah, and ran out of gear, ran out of supplies eventually. Do and all kind of... Stemming from some confusion from dehydration, potentially. Yeah. And I'm looking at it more like uh, just thinking about like the facts of the episode they talked about. They just explored like 24 different caves. Yeah, and that goes along with kind of the cave map of where you see a lot of these people going missing. It seems to always happen to be along this cave map too. So yeah. like when you go off major trails, could you step in an area that's thin and you fall through, or you climb into somewhere and you go too deep? I was thinking about that guy who said like just hopped down on a plateau ledge, yeah, and then and couldn't, couldn't climb back out or get and he was further, and yeah. he was he was out in the open. Like imagine being inside of a cave, you get down, and all of a sudden you can't climb back out. No one yeah. can hear you. Uh, that's to me the most logical. Is is that? I think scenario. I'm jumping on your train with that one. Yeah, I just I just think he wouldn't have hiked that because like I know with hiking, like I'm not going to just keep going off into the desert if I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm gonna. No. I, like what I would do is try and make my like area very big. If I have like, I usually have like a big blanket, like I'd lay it out so like people could see from the air. Start like, a fire. Yeah. Like do things maybe, that are well, going to draw dry, attention. Maybe not. Yeah. But, well, even then, <laughs> even then, but like we, if you have a sleeping bag in a tent, like yeah. I'm going to lay that tarp out really wide. The tents are usually colorful. They don't look like the terrain. Yeah. So like make my campsite big and noticeable from the sky. Yeah. I would start doing stuff like that naturally. Um, and even like if I need to get shade, guess what? You can put your tent up on those bushes and go underneath it in the shade. Yeah. And then guess what? You have this bright tent and things like that. So I could imagine he worked at NASA. He's a smart guy. Yeah. He could figure stuff out like that. So I'm looking at a scenario where he's not capable of being noticed. Yeah. And to me, that's underground. An accidental fall into something. Yeah. Maybe he yeah. was going around the hill and you're supposed to go over. He's like, nope, I'm going to take the easy way so I don't have to climb and up. Maybe there was just like some like five foot by five foot opening. Exactly. Like some covered in thing. brush and he stepped on it and went right in. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm like, to me, that's the most logical. But then you would think the searchers who are searching around that hill would find that hole. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I agree with you. That's what makes it crazy. It's like, yeah. to me, that's a logical explanation. Then they search that area heavily. They were right there. It was a 30-minute window. So, like, that's a very small square footage area of where the missing person was. And even Ned and his daughter retraced their steps. And I've got to imagine that they maybe wandered around a little where Roberts walked off and are yelling his name and, you know, screaming for him. Yeah. And you would think if he had fallen in a hole and, you know, didn't die from the fall and was still alive, you would, I mean. So maybe he fell, hit his head, knocked yeah. out. And then just died unconscious, bled out. Like, like you can hit your head fall, like very little, but if you do it just right and have a brain bleed, yeah. like maybe it was a catastrophic injury in a fall and it's somewhere that you just don't know. Yeah. That, that to me is the most logical. Yeah. No, it's, uh, yeah, I, 
And I think, unfortunately, because this part of Grand Canyon is so lightly visited, um, he may, he may never, you know, his remains may never be discovered or if they are, it might be decades from now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's our story on, uh, Floyd Roberts. I wanted to do this case just because it reminded the terrain and the weather and everything reminded me a lot of, um, my experience in, uh, the maze district of Canyonlands. So, um, I don't know, Joe, do you have anything else to add? Nope. It's, I think this one's, well, I don't even want to say clear cut because where is he? But I, I, that's like to me the only thing that could have happened yeah. where you can't find any trace of him. He fell in a hole somewhere. Or the boulder monsters. Or, or yeah, where they absorb you into the earth yep. or whatever. <laughs> that, that's that got to be it. I don't know. That, that's just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 